What's up, Nerd Migos? It's the Jive Talking Nerd, John Orgrove. We've got Wife here. We're here for another review, Jive. And this time, we watched uh, Enola Holmes, uh, which is a Netflix uh -huh. original movie or whatever. Uh, it's starring uh, Millie Bobby Brown, who Eleven is... Eleven from Stranger Eleven Things. Eleven from Stranger Things, Henry Cavill, and uh, Sam Clifin. Claffin. Mycroft is played by Sam Claffin. Ah. Um, so, this is... This is really good. This was a, short, this was really good. Short short spoiler free answer. This is really good. Go watch it. Do yourself yeah, a bloody favor. It was a uh, it was fun. It was uh it was it was like a fun family action adventure adventure yeah. mystery. Uh and it was it was quite enjoyable. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. Um yeah. 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 That's what, that's what I would watch say. Go that's watch it. That's uh, no spoilers. Spoiler free. Go watch it. Yeah. Like this video. Comment below. Do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Anywho, if we want to get into the spoilers on it, um, fucking Mycroft's a, just a right prick. Yeah, Mycroft <laughs> is this, like kind of a jerk in Mycroft this. is the worst human of all time. Yeah. Okay. Let me read the thing and then we'll bloody get into the whatever. While searching for a missing mother, intrepid teen Enola Holmes uses her sleuthing skills to outsmart Big Brother Sherlock and help a runaway lord. Yeah, I mean... I mean, that's exactly what wrong. happened. That's not wrong. That's so, exactly uh, what happened. So... so. <laughs> Uh, Enola Holmes, she's the youngest sister of all of them. Like, Sherlock is already famous and grown. Mycroft is already a prick. Yeah. And Enola's, she like, 16 years like old. She is, like, much younger than her two brothers. Yeah. And yeah. lives at home with only her mom. And they're, and like, there's like made. Yeah, and they're, like, made. And there's, like, all these scenes that are, like, her and her mom hanging out and doing stuff together and, like, bonding. And her mom looks super fun. So that's yeah. cool. Uh, the, her, mother, <laughs> her mother is played Hello, by Helena uh, Bonham, Bonham Carter. Carter. Yeah, um, and she does a fantastic job. Yeah, I she's really like not her very much in the movie, but she does a yeah. good job playing yeah. uh, so, uh, uh, Holmes's mother. Yeah. But, so all of a sudden, she goes missing. Well, she she disappears. She goes missing. goes missing. Seems a little like it wasn't like it wasn't her choice. I mean, it's basically. It. I mean, you don't know when it's. I point. think they all very well. They actually explain that in the very beginning. When Sherlock oh. first shows up, he's like, clearly, look at the way she left this place. She did this of her own free will in the court. Nobody worry about it being kidnapping. And then nobody ever thought again about it being kidnapping. So oh, that's that was fair. that was like that's neatly fair. wrapped up with just like a throwaway <laughs> Sherlock Holmes line. But that's okay. Um, but so so she disappears, and. Um, uh, Mycroft and Sherlock show up, and Mycroft is Enola's ward, so... And um, he's the oldest son, which is why um, he becomes her ward. Or she becomes his ward, I'm not really sure how that she works. She is his ward. But, yeah. But, um, it's indicated that Sherlock could have been her caregiver at the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, chose not to. Although, like, logically, he's the older brother, Mycroft's the older brother, and he mm -hmm. should have done it, but, like, that's whatever. So, um, so, Mycroft, and Mycroft is like, Sherlock, find our mom. Yeah. Enola, you're going, you're going away to girl camp. To be, uh, to be a proper lady. Just like uh, evil, basically, it's like evil yeah, girl basically, camp. Basically, like, she goes uh, to go pick up her brothers from the train station and... Immediately, Mycroft immediately is a Immediately, Mycroft is a jerk and yeah. is like, you need to be a proper lady. And yeah. she's just like, I mean, like, I'm a pretty awesome lady, so... And wow, Mycroft she's is just 16. Like, no. She's a child. Yeah, she's 16. Um, but at the same time, Mycroft's thing is he needs to make her a proper woman so that she can be married off. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. He, he's, he's like, the, so this whole thing is sort of like the old way, new way political yeah, yeah. sort of a thing happening in England at the time. And he's, Mycroft's very the old way. And yeah. so he wants her to like... You know, just be like a like a like a good wife over there, and not any of our problems. Yeah. Um. And of course, she doesn't want to do that because she's she's like a sassy, irreverent tomboy. So yeah. this movie is basically family friendly Deadpool. Uh, she addresses the yeah. camera. There's a bunch of uh, like stylized uh, both scenes as well as like animations and animatics and such like yeah. that. Um. So, uh, so there's a lot she, of fourth wall breaking. Yeah, there's a, a, there's a, there's a lot of that. So, breaking. so Mycroft is like, all right, you're gonna, you know, I got a governess. She's gonna bloody take you away to school. And uh, Enola's like, f that in the a, I'm out. So she bounces, gets on the train, runs into the Viscount of Marquis or whatever the heck. Uh, <laughs> 
whatever the heck he's called. Well, whatever um, they call him. <laughs> uh, he's the Viscount of Dukesbury. He's played by Louis Partridge, um, and who does a bang up job playing like a weird lordy kid. Yeah, and then come yeah. to find out so he's actually gangster. So she meets him on a train. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, she finds him on a yeah. train insofar <laughs> as he was inside of some luggage inside of her car. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, in, you know, inside of her little room. And so she's like, you need to get the fuck out of here. People are after you and doesn't involve me, so fuck off with that shit. Yeah. And uh, so he does, and then immediately unfucks off, and he's just like, no, 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 we, we, you gotta help me here. Yeah. And uh, so she's like, no, and leaves. Which is awesome. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. then she, like, hears him getting his ass beat. And so she goes in there, helps him. They escape together. They make it to London. And she's like, all right, well, we've both made it to London. Deuces. And then she's, she yeah. fucks off again. Which is fucking great. She's just like, my mom said don't. I don't need nobody to help me. And, like, definitely not some punk-ass kid. So I'm just yeah. not going to do that shit. Out. Um, uh, or so we think. And, yeah. uh, so she, like, you know, gets a bunch of ladies' clothing and, like, spends some money to look all proper and whatever the fuck to try to start finding out her mom. And she's investigating her because mom's Because prior thing. to that, she was dressing like a tomboy. In fact, that's like, or, well, rather like a boy. In fact, that's like a hallmark of this movie is Enola Holmes going around and rocket raccooning dudes being like, hey, good she sir. Steals Give me your clothes. You can now wear my dress. She is so she's an basically doing on London. She's a fucking blight on the men of London. <laughs> this bitch is gonna come up to you and be like, "Hey, give me five bucks clothes. for your fucking clothes. Uh, you don't have to wear the dress if you don't want." Which she's saying that, and I don't really know why it's she's very, adding that. It's very in my rocket mind, raccoon. There's just there's like, just and I need that guy's dudes. leg. Well, but. Rocket Raccoon isn't doing anything with that guy's leg. She fully wearing his she clothing, is doing which means the that there, which means yes, that there, yes. there are either a bunch of dudes walking around London in this little girl's dresses, or, or a bunch of dudes walking around naked with this little girl's dress. Both are not a solid, like we don't know plus on this. We don't know. I feel like I feel like if somebody's like, I'll give you five bucks. I need your clothes, uh, and I, I'm just gonna be like, I don't. No hablo espanol, and then just walk the fuck away. Just give up. I'm out. I'm not. I'm gonna leave my shit. One guy was like selling I mean, newspapers. Like, bounce. She was offering these people a good chunk of change. Yeah, I, you know what? That would be no, like somebody still... coming up to you today and being like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you three hundred bucks for your clothes. You yeah, can no, wear my dress if you want." That's real bananas. Listen, you are getting involved in some shit where maybe some dudes are gonna bust your kneecaps. Uh, it's, that's, it's not that's true. And based but at on, the same time, based on how the like, guy who was hunting, I mean, them, that's like a good amount of money. Uh, so it's not like no, you take the clothes, it. you don't wear it's the not, dress. It's not worth and, it. Tell me below. Would you sell your clothes for three hundred dollars? No, no. I'm yeah. not. It's not worth the. It's not worth Especially the kneecap. Especially because I always have like a jacket and like a scarf with me or something. No, they want all of it. Uh, she takes all of it, dude. She we even don't takes know. her fun hats. We never. She even takes their hats. She does. She takes everything. Well, we Maybe know. not their underclothing, but even that, yeah. sometimes I doubt. Probably not their underclothing. Uh, I don't know about that. She's real crazy town. Well, no, we uh, see her underclothing later on, so she's definitely. Uh, yeah, not she does. She does. She does get in. She is walking around in her underclothing, and of course, Mycroft is all a fluster about it. Uh, yeah. He was um, not my, happy Mycra about Mycroft is a fucking sensitive boy. Yeah. He. Uh, <laughs> He gets yeah. so, so flustered anyway, about everything. She goes to London and she's trying to track down her mom using a series of clues that her mom had given her uh, yeah, that she is solving. Yeah. And it's really cool stuff the way that she's doing it. She's got like ciphers and they use like the meaning of flowers yeah, and they're, they're, stuff they, like they're that. They're really linearly comparing her to Holmes Yeah, with regard to her ability to discover things. Which, which sort of brings us to the first fault in the movie which is that they've depowered Holmes significantly in order for Enola to be at the power level that she's at That's right true. to use superhero or anime terms for this they've yeah. like I, you see this in like the third season of an anime when our hero all of a sudden gets depowered by relative comparison so that way the new bad guy can seem like a real threat for the show like it just because we have all of this history of Holmes being like psychotically good at this stuff they seem to have like knocked him down a peg and it's not that they knocked him down a peg that is bad but it's just the manner in which they do it in this you're sort of like uh the Sherlock doesn't seem like he's on his A game See, and I he's also he's way. also very like blase about a lot of 
very concerning shit. Yeah, see, I didn't take it that way at all. About. Like the way that I thought, the way I felt they were playing it was that she is as smart as him, not knocking him down a peg, as smart or mostly as smart as him, right? So, like the way that he's acting is not like he's stumped and he's not sure. Well, it's not but that he's, he's always stumped. with he's his just... brother, and he always, always kind of like, I don't know, maybe she you know, like pulled one over on us. To me, it seems like Holmes is actually one step ahead of Enola, knowing, like, I I feel in my head canon that what he's doing <laughs> is that as these things are happening, he is imagining what she would be doing beforehand, and he is already knowing what's happening. It's, it's clear in several scenes throughout the movie that he knows what it is that she's doing because that's basically what he would have done. Yeah, except See, there I didn't are take it as too many being scenes being where she's all. there long before him yeah. and leaves something that, yeah. sh that like, but shocks him. Remember, he wanted to be her ward so only he's at letting, the very end though uh no he says it at the beginning too i think what he's doing is he's letting mycroft's plans fail and enola's plans oh, come to fruition no. so no. that she so that he can be so that she can be his ward and possibly understudy yeah that's I mean, the way that i was taking the whole no thing. yeah i don't i don't i'm not i'm not getting that at all first of all he specifically says that he doesn't want to take care of her and doesn't care for her or most of the family yeah but he beginning. would do that I, right i, just, I and, think that and i i think, I think that i that. think that they've just it's sort of like they've made the inspector a little bit more powerful to be a little bit more of a threat and they did the like family the like uh like oh, it's the stepdad and the mom who are out to get him not the grandma or whatever the fuck you know i i feel like that i feel like for holmes they've just they're not letting him be the sherlock holmes that like you know we're used to like knowing and reading and whatnot um this movie is is considerably different than our uh uh, the other, the previous movie, Holmes, what's his name? Oh, with Robert Downey Jr. With Robert Downey Jr., which I actually like. I really like Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. And I like the idea that Sherlock Holmes isn't really much of a character in this movie at all, to be completely honest with yeah. you. Yeah. Other than in name alone, he's not in, he's in a, just about as many scenes as the mother. Yeah, yeah. So... I mean, really, Enola is the main character. I'm far, living for her story. Far, in a yeah. way, Enola's the main character. Um, and I like the idea that Holmes is this, like, sort of supportive thing that's happening in the background. Um, I think that they could have written it a little bit better. Uh, I, I think that they could have, like... I, I think that there were some scenes where they did a great job expressing, like, the, the, like, witty intelligence of Enola and Sherlock. And I think in some scenes, it seemed like Sherlock wasn't as witty and intelligent as he is in later scenes or in previous scenes. And uh, Enola is, like... There are a couple of scenes where she clearly, like, gives up a secret that she wasn't supposed to give up to Sherlock. Where it's like, oh, hey, there's Sherlock, like like keeping up with stuff but it's weird that she would have made that mistake and then like not until later when it's being explained to the audience that like obviously like she's like oh like he must have noticed that i did this stupid thing you know so like there was well, there was a little there was a little Sherlock bit of that understood but what she was doing the whole time yeah i don't i don't think so i think I, I my only complaint about this sherlock is that he seemed a little dim He's just, he no, seemed a, see, he seemed a little dim, all. and I feel like they dimmed him a little bit to make Mycroft seem significantly more, because Mycroft is a fucking moron in this, right? But to pose a threat, I feel like they had to, I feel like Holmes sort of suffered the brunt of depowering here, but then again, Holmes is like almost a superhero level problem solver. He's basically Batman without the technology, yeah. and only gently without the technology, depending on like what well, version of like, Holmes you're talking he's about. Like, He's like old timey Batman. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's just yeah. like, he's just like, bam, zip, kapow, Batman. Um, <laughs> he's know. a little more Jules Verne than that, but yeah, know, I mean, I didn't have any kapow. complaints about this movie. Um, I thought this movie was well perfect. I yeah, would, it was. It I was would, certainly fun. We've already it watched had the right it amount of irreverence. Uh, I, it's certainly rewatchable. I think that it's, I would love to see more. I, I definitely want them to. If they were smart, and they're not, so you know, whatever. If they were smart, it's I Netflix, think that they. So maybe. Yeah. I don't know. 
<laughs> recently, maybe not so much. Five years ago, Netflix, maybe not 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 today, Netflix. But um, I think that they need to do. They should do a like a young Sherlock Holmes style thing with this, and, yeah. and pump out one of these movies with Millie Bobby Brown once every couple of years. Yeah, you know, hell, you could probably even get Henry Cavill to you know pay him some small fortune yeah. to do two or three throwaway scenes where he's mentoring her or something like yeah. that. Um, if they decide to go down that route, but I, I think all the actors did a great job. Um, yeah. I think that um, there really wasn't like a twist in this. I mean, I, you, it's the grandmother, not the parents. It was kind of a twist, but also incredibly obvious. Uh, um, yeah, it was pretty obvious to primarily me. Primarily because what the, it was, in the very beginning when they're getting on the train, the grandma is being fucking crazy. She's yeah. the one that's like, "No, don't worry about it, guys." They'll find him. He must clearly not be here. And the, like, yeah. fucking murder is just, like, giving her this shit. Yeah, So, yeah. like, that's... You know, I feel like that was a little obvious. But, again, it made the grandma a fun character because she was, she was like, playing both sides. She was a little a Scooby-Doo villain. She was. You know what she reminded me? She reminded me of the of the old lady from Game of Thrones. The um, oh, um, the you know who I'm the talking lady about? who just died. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. where she's it's sort of like ah, she knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, controlling stuff from behind or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck. Uh, the whole twist with her mom and the gunpowder and shit. I, I first of all it was like vaguely unresolved, but um, was interesting enough. You know, it's like all right, this is cool. I'm like, I kind of wish they had done more with, um, Helena. Bottom Carter because she's the best, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I think overall this was like a really good first movie. Make more movies. Yeah, make more. Of that's this. I that's what I want. Like this is a great first movie. I want to see more development on the characters. I felt like this was a little bit more set up and a little bit less character development. The yeah, regardless there was of the fact that we had a lot of character development. Well, the whole beginning, probably twenty minutes of the movie. Oh, the first third is full like blood setup, and then setup. the second third is like mystery and shit, and then the last third is really primarily just wrap up. So this is like a fairly linear, you know, it's 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 simple. Kids are gonna get it, kind of a kind yeah. of a movie. Um, but yeah, I thought this was great. Um, you know, I would give this four out of five. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. This yeah, was this was this I was really good. Zero I super complaints. enjoyed it. It was yeah. super super pretty. Yeah. Like, all the shots in England and stuff, such like that. And um, I liked its stylization. I liked Millie Bobby Brown in it. Yeah, I liked Henry Cavill in it, who I'm not yeah. generally a big Henry Cavill fan. Um, I, I think a lot of times he's given roles based on physicality and not his acting chops. And um, this was one of those times where he was given a role... Uh, well, probably based off physicality and not his acting chops, but that's neither here nor there. He did a good job with the chopping, so who cares? Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm interested to see if they can do more of these and how good those are. I, to me, yeah, I, I think would love to see that's that. that's where the real test goes because this was great solid start to a to a thing. Yeah. To a universe, to use the term that a fucking company wants to use nowadays. Yeah. Right. Uh, plus, I want a Sherlock Holmes universe. Holy shit, how cool would that be? That would be super cool. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> either way, what did you think? Well, uh, did you like Holmes in this? Did you like Cav Cavill being Holmes? Um, did you like Enola? Um, or Mycroft? Do you want to start sending messages through flowers? Like, who wants to be my flower message pen pal? What's up? Yeah, flower message pen pal. But it's got to be in ciphers also, so <laughs> you got to learn how to do ciphers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, either way, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This is Review Jive. We watched Enola Holmes on Netflix. Uh, so, yeah, don't forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. I may have said that already, but I probably you did not. Definitely. If I said it at the top, it's a different one, so it doesn't count. But, uh, either way, yeah, either we'll way, see you next time. We'll see you guys next time.